What's up guys, it's Sunday Backyard Farmer. On this Sunday, we're going to try to... My wife wants to be able to put, I guess, herbs or something closer up on the deck. So I got some pots for that. And I'm going to just sit them up there and drill the holes for her. And then I'm going to let that be her project if she want to share it with y'all on her channel. But um, before I put those up there, I'm actually going to trim down the... Well, cut the bushes down lower. So um, they want to pee with the planting pots or whatever. And I think I'm actually going to give this backyard a quick trim real quick. And I got some more starts I want to get in the ground. So here we go. Coming with their dad to get some dirt. Say, get some dirt. Get some dirt. <laughs> Nigga, say, get some dirt. Get some dirt. <laughs> some dirt. Alright guys, we got it screwed down to the base. So now we're gonna drill some holes in there and I bought her some, I don't even remember what this is. There's no tagging, it's some parsley or something. It's different than this one though. So there's supposed to be two different varieties but the last time, what we have? Cilantro that I gave her, and it went to seed. So I feel like if they're selling it now, then it should be in season. So I figured with the warm weather um, plant or whatnot. So we'll see. I have her do the research on that. It is hot out here today, guys. So let me show y'all how big this thing I got in the compost pile. You look at this. If I can get stuff to grow like this in the actual garden, like this thing has taken over. It's drooping like it needs some water. It's been raining like crazy. It then took over the space of this plant. It's vining. But what is it? It ain't no food on it. Like a zucchini or whatever it could be. There's nothing on it, it's just a huge plant. So, I'm not sure. Oh, okra is not doing very well back here, guys. I don't know if I'm being... Sorry, that was a bee, a wasp or something. I don't know if I'm being impatient or if it's, I don't, I just don't think it's adequate enough sun for the okra. I know okra like the heat. And I also have some corn starts and I'm thinking about planting them in between the peppers. So, cause I don't want to plant them in front of here cause you know, corn get tall. So realistically, if I would have did, it realistically, if I would have did my corn like I was supposed to, I would have had this whole box filled with corn instead of peppers. So 
but we're gonna try to include the corn over here anyway. So that's another thing we're gonna get done today as well. So got that cut. Need to bring the weed eater out and um get a little closer to the beds, but this is all I'm planning on doing right now. This is it, just knock the grass down. So still don't see any life from the seeds that I threw down. So it's a never ending story. Sweet potatoes, uh, I'm guessing they're doing good. They look, they look like they're doing good. Now I haven't mounded these like I see people do. Add more dirt, I haven't done anything to this yet. So I just don't think it's time for it yet. As far as I don't see anything mounding up or anything bulging out, so. All right, guys, we're gonna try to get some of this corn. This is a variety. So, I didn't even know they sold these um, at uh, the Big Box store. So, since I didn't get my seeds off in time, I actually did do some seeds, but they didn't make it. So. I did them and started them off in the house and they germinated and I brought them outside and they didn't do anything. So we're gonna get these in. And let me know guys what you think, if this is even a good idea to plant this corn in between the peppers. All right, guys, this is where I put the corn at. Put some in front of the cucumbers. Just one row. And if you look between the peppers, I did them in between there. So we're gonna see how those do. Put some right here just so they won't take up the whole bed. I still got stuff that I should have been had in the ground in front of these bed, bedding areas. And of course, I placed some up here. I feel like this is my experiment area because stuff just does not do very well up here with the soil or something. So it'll grow. It'll take its time. Like I said on my other video, you see how the yellowing on the cucumbers are dying out, really. And those are the same. I planted these the same time. Isn't that amazing, guys? And we got one coming in right there. It's a couple of them look like starting to come in. So. So when I was growing cucumbers last year, I wanted to make sure I grew a lot this year because, you know, my wife, with her cooking and everything, she would do like these cucumber salads or whatever, and it'd just be so refreshing after being in the garden and coming in and having one of those made fresh and, uh, you know, cools you down everything. So I wanted to make sure I had enough cucumbers this year, but I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I actually planted one over here. It's not doing, I don't know what's going on guys. It's not doing something. Um, like I said before, I gotta get some 511 over here. Definitely gotta get some 511 popping. The, um, sorry, <laughs> got distracted. Gotta get some 511 popping, man. And get some of this stuff to do what it need to do. And there he is, well, Pop Pop, the myth, the legend. Did you get a card saying that from one of the boys? The legend. The myth, the le a t-shirt. T-shirt. What was it? From Amir or Sharif? That was Amir. Was that Amir? 
sound like a mirror, right? Yeah. We're having chicken cacciatore, which is Italian. So um, the sauce that is cooked in is, uh, you know, like a marinara, but there's mushrooms in there and there's tomatoes and crushed tomatoes and it has a lot of um, herbs. Um, thyme, basil, parsley. So anyway, so you get your potatoes, you can put some of this richness on it. Now this chicken literally falls apart, but I do have a, a knife that you can use to also cut it, but it's already falling apart. Um, and then this is just cabbage, I just fried it. Um, yeah, so. Anywho, but we have a banana pudding cake and that's on the center of that table and it has actually banana pudding in the middle with bananas and it has the cookie crumbs but you know I don't like vanilla flavor so it is chestnut cookies so it should be delicious. Um, there's some citrus um, tea, green tea, but there's also some sodas and whatnot in the, what do you call it babe, the cooler. My cooler with my sodas and stuff in it? Yeah, well, I thought it was for like how you were doing like your grandfather because he's a real southern gentleman. Oh man, you gonna call me out like that. Um, and he had it for whoever would come by. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait till this video over. <laughs> anyway, so let's pray. So, we have two guests, but RJ's gonna pray for us. Go ahead, bless the food, RJ. In the name of Jesus, amen. That is oh, not man. funny. You're doing a good yeah, job. Man. You're doing That's a good right. job. Man, uh, I'm stuttering now, You're good. You're good. God is good. God is good. Thank you for the day. Bless the hand of prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Whoa, that boy's oh, sitting strong with Jesus' name. I love you. I'm about to be very glad. Sharif, horrible, horrible. Sharif, so, like, anyway. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't know. Start off. Get a little demonstration. today guys um, not sure how long this video gonna be but I just wanted to pop in and do a Sunday video <laughs> Sunday backyard farmer so <laughs> to stop in and do a video real quick and um, take care of some chores chores like always and let's see so we got the flower pots or the planters on the back deck for my wife done we got the grass mowed course before that we went to church that's not about demonic warfare that's about your ability to release people who offend you got some corn planted and ate sunday supper so i thank you guys for coming in and you already know what i want you to do get us some dirt <laughs> 